Alright guys, as you can see I've already logged into Campaign Monitor. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to give you a bit of a, a run through of how to create a client and then how to download some templates, edit them quickly in Photoshop and then save everything in Dreamweaver and then upload it into Campaign Monitor and add some content to it. So let's get stuck in. First thing that we're going to do is add a client. So I'm going to click on the Add Client button there. Uh, my client will do. Oops. Uh, my client email address. I'm going to put my email address in there, and I'm not going to allow access. Whoops. Just going to add the client. Okay, there they are. They've been added now, so I can click on that link. And the first thing that we want to do is go over to the templates gallery. Have a little bit of a browse of that. I'm going to scroll through and find a, a template that I like that I'd like to change. So let's see, we've got this ABC widgets widgets one here that I don't mind. I might download that. So I'm just going to right click on it and choose download link file. And I've already got a folder here in week 11 that I've made called Campaign Monitor. It's going to save it to that folder. And I'm going to go over and once that document, that file, sorry, has been downloaded, we'll extract it. So now that that file is downloaded, it's going to open it up. So we'll click on it. On a PC, you could right click and then choose extract, or we, sorry, choose WinZip extract to here, um, or there's other ways that you can un extract your files on a PC. On a Mac, just double click on it. So the first thing that we want to do is open up this template with editor tags in Dreamweaver. So I'm going to right click on that file. Make sure you choose the editor tags, not the basic one. And I'm just going to open that up. Yes. So what we want to look for, uh, the size of the, is the size of this little um, file here. So I'm going to go over to my properties panel and I can see that the image uh, is 55, 550 pixels wide by 77 high. So I'm going to go over to Photoshop and I'll make a new document, file new 55, 550 and 77. Just click OK. So I've got my document size already made up, but if I put that onto my template, it's going to look a bit strange. So I'm going to try to color match as best I can this background color with the color of my template. So going back to Dreamweaver once more, scroll up a bit, I can see that this is a part of the main class. So if I go up, a little bit further in my CSS I should find table main there we go alright so that's the background color so I'll copy that go back to Photoshop double click on my foreground color and paste it in click OK now I want to go over to the paint bucket tool and just pop that color in it's great I'm gonna add some text for my client I'm just going to call it my client and the text is actually the same color as my background so I can't see it so I'm just going to highlight it and I'll change its color there to white might golden that up a bit okay there we go so in my case, I don't have a logo, but I'd like you guys to have a logo that you can put in here or somewhere, um, and maybe a tagline or your USP. You should have your unique selling proposition in here as well. So I'm going to save this document, file, save, and I'm just going to call this um, header into my downloaded folder. Save, yes. and I'm going to export this out. So file, save for web and devices. 
depending on your type of image that you've got here. If you've got a lot of images that you've imported, then JPEG may be the best type of file to export. If there's a lot of just text and a background color and it's sort of vector artwork or graphics that you've made in Photoshop or brushes that you've used, then PNG would probably be better. But if you've got a lot of images, go for your JPEG. All right, in my case, I'm going to stick to G um, PNG. I'm going to save that. I'm going to make sure that I'm in the right folder. And I'm going to call this my header. Save the PNG file. Oh, okay, that's all done. Yep, we'll save those changes. I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver, double click on my image. And I'll go to main, my header, click on that, choose it, and then I'll import it. So that looks pretty good. The color matching's not too bad. Got a couple more things that we need to change in here. So you receive this newsletter because you've brought products from us. And down the bottom here, we've also got, so in my case, I'll just call it my client. My client and the my client logo, which I don't have. Logo trademarks of my client and my client as well. Right, so we've changed that. You guys can change the address, suit your needs. So I'll save that and just about done in Dreamweaver, there's one more little tricky thing that we need to do. In Dreamweaver, we're going to move all of our um, all of our images into a folder. So I need to go to Manage Sites and I'll make a new site. I'll call this site um, my client. I'm going to navigate to where the site is, and Dreamweaver is smart enough to find it 99% of the time, okay? So in this case it has, I'll just make sure that it's got the right one, it does. I'll click choose, and then I'll just click OK. I don't need to worry about anything else, and done. Dreamweaver is going to recreate the site for me. And what we're going to do is make a, a folder called Images. So I'm going to right click on this folder at the top and then call create new folder. So new folder, click on that and I'll call this images. After that, I'm going to drag all of the image images that I see. So I've got that image, that's another image, that's an image, that's a Photoshop file, I don't really need that. That's an image, it's an image, it's an image, it's another image. Screenshot image, make sure grab that, grab that image. These are two um, HTML files, I don't need those. I can grab that image and I'm just going to pull them all into my images folder. And Dreamweaver is going to update my template for me and I'm just going to click update. Okay, so once I've done that, I just want to make sure that everything is correct. So I'll go back to. Dreamweaver, yes, my image is in there. Yes, that looks right. So remembering with these templates, we actually don't want to add any content to it. We just want to leave them as they are and only edit this text down the bottom here. Edit the text up the top. Swap out the image. And then the big thing is to make an image, a new folder called Images and then drag all the images into that and make sure Dreamweaver updates it. So I must save my document now, so I'll go File, Save. And I'm going to go over to my, my folder, which I downloaded, and the new one that I created, the Images folder. I'm just going to right-click on that, and I want to compress it, make it into a zip. So I'll just choose Compress Images. Uh, if you're on a PC, then you'll need to use WinZip or some other um, compressing uh, software. So I'll make it a zip file and you may need to click, right click and click refresh if you're on a PC so this zip folder comes up. Alright, so now we've done the first part, now we've just got to upload it into Campaign Monitor. So